Big changes are coming for Nevada Athletics. July 1st will mark the pack's first day as a part of the Mountain West Conference. Winners of four of their last five, the Aces look to keep their winning ways going against the Sacramento Rivercats tonight. Disc golf is quickly becoming one of the most popular sports in America. And the concept is easy. You just take this frisbee and throw it into that hole. It's definitely not as easy as it sounds. Dario Hunt has been a household name for Pac fans since he first came to Reno in 2008. Four years later and one of the Pac's most dominant big men is preparing for a career in the NBA. Former Wolfpack basketball star Oleg Shiz is leaving U.S. soil as he continues to prepare for the NBA draft. The university has stressed the need to improve facilities before heading to the Mountain West. But while basketball and football are getting all the attention, the Pac tennis team is forced to practice off campus. That's right, Madison. It was the NFL draft and four former Pac stars were lucky enough to have their names called. For almost 30 years, thousands of Pac fans have been piling into Lawler Event Center for Pac basketball games. But while Lawler's a common name in Reno, does anybody know who he was? If you look back to the times of Larry Bird and Dr. J, you'll see that the Boston Celtics and Philadelphia 76ers are no strangers to playoff battles. Tonight's Game 7 was another one for the books. Winner gets to play the Heat in Miami starting next week. First quarter, Sixers down three, Andre Iguodala with the step back from behind the arc. He finished with a game-high 18 points. Later, Paul Pierce works his way inside, gets the hoop, plus the foul. The Truth finished with 15 points and nine boards. The Celtics are moving on. They win 85-75. Not pictured was Rajon Rondo's triple-double. After a prolific career in the biggest little city, former Nevada basketball star Oleg Shiz is heading overseas to continue preparing for next month's draft. The Reno High grad announced on his Twitter account that he will be attending the Adidas EuroCamp in Italy. The camp runs from June 10th through the 12th. Shiz has already worked out for the Golden State Warriors. He was a first-team all-wax selection for Nevada this past season, averaging about 14 points and 6 rebounds. After a stellar regular season, the Western Nevada Wildcats have found themselves in the JUCO World Series. But Saturday's Game 1 didn't go quite as planned. The Cats dropped Game 1 to Florida's Polk State 10-1. The Wildcats will next play in the loser's bracket tomorrow at 1. Big League Baseball, Giants and the Marlins, bottom of the third, tied at one before Hanley Ramirez finds a hole. Miami takes the lead. They would go on to score three in the frame. To the ninth, Giants down two, bases loaded for Gregor Blanco. That won't do it. Marlins down the Giants, five to three. Yankees in the A's from the East Bay, big day for Mark Teixeira. Top of the fourth, score tied at two. Teixeira goes yard to right. Yankees take the one run lead. Top of the ninth, he's back at it, this time deep to left center. Teixeira ends the day 4 for 5 with 2 homers and 5 RBI. The Yankees roll 9 to 2. Rangers and the Blue Jays, Josh Hamilton continues his hot streak. It's jumped to the 13th where Hamilton clubs the game winner. It's his third career walk-off home run and 20th on the season. The Rangers win 8 to 7. It's time for the sports nightcap. We're back to baseball, Twins and Tigers and oh wow. Minnesota's Justin Morneau takes Max Scherzer way deep, but while the home run is nice, check out the Twins fan. He makes a leaping, one-handed catch, all while hanging on to his jacket and a beer. Now that's impressive. His buddies love it, and so do the Twins. The Tigers win 6-3. That's it for sports. We'll be right back. A tough loss to La Tech in the semifinals of last month's WAC tournament sent the PAC's NCAA tourney hopes virtually down the drain. But their stellar regular season landed them a spot in the NIT, a tournament featuring the best teams left out of the big dance. The PAC traveled to Tulsa, Oklahoma to face Oral Roberts in the first round. Led by Dario Hunt's 18 points, 10 rebounds, and 5 blocks, the PAC's balanced attack proved to be too much for the Golden Eagles. Nevada advanced to the second round with a nine-point victory. The Pack were back at home for the second round, hosting a Bucknell team fresh off a huge upset of Arizona. Oleg Shiz dominated, scoring 24 points in what ended up being his last game at Lawler. The Pack played possibly their best game all season, outlasting Bucknell for the eight-point win and a trip to the third round. The Pack hadn't been to the third round of a postseason tournament since their miraculous Sweet 16 run in 2004. They came to Stanford looking to tie their single season record for most wins and more importantly, a trip to New York City. Lots of Pack fans made the trip to Palo Alto, but this one got ugly quick. The Cardinal came out hot as Nevada was unable to respond. 
The pack never got into their game, and by the time the final buzzer sounded, they had been outscored by almost 30. It didn't end the way they expected it, but the guys knew that this was a great season. I can't be too disappointed on our entire season. You know, we, we were only 13 and 19 last year to come back like we did this year. I'm, I'm really proud of my guys, and, uh, you know, uh, I'm going to hold my, my head up high. I'll always remember it, and, and I'll miss it thoroughly. It's been a hell of a ride, like I said, and I'm going to hang my head over this. We, we, we just had a great season and a great turnaround since last season. The 16 games uh, winning streak was huge. To win the WAC championship, 13 wins and one loss. Uh, then go to postseason and, and win two games to get to the third round, one game away from New York. It's been a very special season. While the pack season didn't end the way they wanted it to, it's safe to say this was one of the most exciting seasons in recent history, and the future sure looks bright. Reporting from Stanford University for Wolfpack Week Sports, I'm Mike Stephenson. After going undefeated for 14 straight weeks, Nevada's Wolfie Jr. is in the finals of the Capital One Mascot Challenge. Fans have been voting frantically to get Wolfie Jr. to the championship, and the road hasn't been easy. Wolfie has had to go through past champions Old Dominion and Iowa State, and most recently took down defending football champion Auburn to make it to the final round. Adam Karp, a graduate assistant within the athletic department, is loving the fan support for Wolfie. People who have been stepping up and taking time out of their day to, to vote and encouraging others to vote in state, out of state, you know, relatives, family, you know, it, you have to tip your hat to them and, and the way that they have rallied as a community to help out. Karp, who's been constantly voting himself, knows winning the mascot challenge could mean big things for Nevada. You know, um, it could be, you know, recruiting, you know, just students to the school, maybe student athletes see how, how good the fan base is and want to come here. Um, I mean, just to understand that Reno is a great place, the community is a great place, and the university is a great place, so it can do wonders for our school. One student who's been promoting the challenge is Andrew Villeneuve. He estimates he's submitted at least 50,000 votes during the entire competition and also has gotten at least 25 others to help out. I just thought, you know, we're one community, one pack, why not take it? So I, I think with everyone voting and stuff, I think we, can, we have a good, good shot at, um, you know, winning the whole thing. Wolfie Jr. is matched up against Buzz out of Georgia Tech for the championship. No matter how he does, it's clear this competition showed the town's commitment to the pack. For Wolfpack Week, I'm Mike Stephenson. Disc golf is quickly becoming one of the most popular sports in the world. And the concept is easy, you just got to take this frisbee and throw it into that goal. Buckets!